Kanban is often the recommended approach for customer service work. It distinctly visualizes stages of communication together with the position of each ticket. But mainly, it's a perfect fit for organizing an ongoing flow of similar tasks. Kanban supports a pull workflow. As opposed to pushing incoming tasks to assigned team inboxes, tickets are accumulated in a shared backlog, letting the team pick new items from it once they complete previous ones. And where different urgency levels are introduced, the team is simply asked to pull these first. This is a Kanban tool board for managing customer requests and feedback, designed for a support team of three, with additional help from an on-call expert. Incoming reports are created in a backlog, where the head of the team segregates them into urgent and regular, then moves selected cards to next. An available support team member pulls a topmost card from next to doing. By doing this, such a task gets automatically assigned to this person. If they can solve the request, they do so, and the card gets straight to done. In cases where a request solution has created valuable feedback for the future of the product, the card gets moved further right into feedback. When an issue cannot be solved without clarification from the customer, follow-up questions are asked and the card is moved to pending user reply. Once the information is given, the task reverses to doing. And in rare events, when the support team member isn't able to resolve the problem without technical assistance, the task is placed in expert assistance next and assigned to a specialist. Once solved, the expert moves it to resolved naturally. It's then the support team's job to notify the user who reported the problem and move the task to done. Depending on the specifics of what you're working on, there may be customer reports that require immediate attention or are treated as important for other reasons. For these, the team has a designated emergency column. If a card is put in this column, it will become a task for the first available team member regardless of what happens on the rest of the board. And, just like with regular tickets, if the emergency cannot be helped by a support team member, they are to assign it to an expert to create an email alert, but leave it in the emergency column. The expert will move it through doing resolved on his own. With such a setup, the team is able to provide a flowing, steady support to their customers. They're less likely to lose or forget items, and they stand a good chance of improving response time. Great clarity of status on each item is achieved and prioritizing is not an issue. Kanban-specific work-in-progress limits ensure that the team members are not multitasking but can give full attention to one request at a time. This usually translates into better quality of support. On this board, the WIP limits are only applied to the doing column and are set to a highly comfortable one task per each team member. This team's tasks are made of a name, which is the customer's email, with message content as task description and an auto-generated ID. The information gathered later is included in task comments. Due dates are unnecessary, since work simply flows with the incoming tasks, one being picked up after another as the team members become available. This way the workflow is truly continuous and items are equally distributed among the team without the leader having to bother with task assignments in the backlog. With the automatic metrics, the manager will be able to monitor the process throughput, the speed at which tasks are being processed. If the ratio between reply speed and the number of tasks in the backlog starts to become unmanageable, it will become clear that the team needs to grow in order to sustain certain levels of support. Following the team progress is also helped by the Team Activity widget, showing a stream of all activity in the side panel. Email addresses are used as task names to make it possible to search through communication with a customer throughout all past requests, both on this board with filtering and on other boards with the search function. Great for gathering customer feedback across a product lifetime, as well as for monitoring orders and purchases. 
For some very specific requests, the team uses checklist templates allowing them to follow a set procedure of steps, ensuring all aspects of the problem are covered and acted upon. While working with Kanban is easy, it's only after you've tried it for a while that it becomes clear how big a burden of item tracking and work distribution it takes off the team. The WIP limits make planning and controlling work straightforward. It's easier to balance the workload among the team to collaborate and to share responsibility. It also helps to plan future projects on the basis of actual information, not guesswork. Lastly, a flexible workflow like this supports future improvements to the process, which undoubtedly will need to take place regularly to ensure top quality support. Consider a Kanban workflow for your service team and test Kanban Tool free of charge on KanbanTool.com.